let's have a look at this painfully difficult math question when i saw this last question on the gcse 2024 math paper 3 i was utterly baffled by it okay this is what the question looks like the diagram shows a circle radius r centimeters and two regular hexagons each side of the larger hexagon is a tangent to the circle each side of the smaller hexagon is a chord of the circle by considering perimeters show that pi is greater than three it is less than two root three and this question was only four marks i have enhanced this question so it looks a little bit colorful so here we have a circumscribed and an inscribed hexagon of the circle in other words we have a hexagon inside a circle and also we have a hexagon outside the circle so let's calculate the perimeter of the inner hexagon we are given the radius of the circle is r centimeters focusing on the inner regular hexagon it can be divided into six equilateral triangles now if a regular hexagon is inscribed in a circle then its side is equal to the radius of the circle which means all of these sides of the equilateral triangle are all arrow centimeters hence the perimeter of the inscribed the inner regular hexagon is 6 r next the perimeter or the circumference of the circle is equal to 2 pi r for the perimeter of the circumscribed the outer regular hexagon if we now extend the red eye or join the vertex of these two hexagons creating this nice triangle before we tidy up the diagram let's recall that this angle here is 60 degrees because when we divided the hexagon into six equilateral triangle the angle at this point is 360 divided by 6 which is 60 degrees so all of these angles are 60 degrees now let's tidy up so here if we now draw a line a radius from the center of the circle to the tangent of the circle it divides the angle 60 into 230 degrees and we are going to get two right angle triangles these triangles are 30 60 90 degree triangles they are special triangles let's call the side length of this right triangle x next we can calculate the value of x using tan of an angle if we recall to calculate tan of an angle it is simply the opposite side divided by the adjacent so tan of 30 is equal to the opposite side x divided by the radius tan of 30 is equal to root 3 divided by 3 if we cross multiply we will get 3x is equal to r root 3 so therefore x is equal to r root 3 divided by 3 so we have another x here also so the hexagon length it is simply r root 3 divided by 3 times 2 so this will simplify to 2 r root 3 over 3 so the total perimeter of the outer hexagon it is simply 2 r root 3 divided by 3 times 6 so this will simplify to 4 r root 3 next so now we have the perimeters for the inner hexagon the circle the outer hexagon it's easier to see that the length of the circumference of the circle will be somewhere between the length of the two regular hexagon if we now consider the perimeter of the circle the 2 pi r 2 pi r is simply 2 times 3.14 it's going to give you something like 6 point something so the perimeter of the circle is greater than the inner hexagon however it is less than the outer hexagon here if we divide the inequality by r 
notice the hours will cancel out. If we then divide the inequality by 2, finally we have shown that pi is greater than 3, it is also less than 2 root 3. How fun was that?